gone wrong. Hello. Thank you, Project. Presentation mastery. I've given you the evaluation sheet. Form. And the objective is that. The whole objective of the presentation. Just read from that. So the purpose is clearly is that the, uh, the purpose of this project is for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present as a well organized best research speech on any topic. Good evening. Welcome, fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests. This was back in the year 2017 when my parents they came over to me and they said, Urusa, we have a proposal for you, for a guy, of course. <laughs> and I said, of course, why not? Uh, but what, what better way than know the person over a cup of coffee? So we invited the person next day and he came over. Uh, everything looked pretty fine to me. He was tall, six feet, and he looked handsome. He was fair. Everything what a girl dreams of. He was that. However, when our conversation started, I was left completely spellbounded. Trust me on this. He was so much in love with himself. <laughs> I mean, have you ever had a conversation with someone where you felt that you probably did not even exist? Or, or it was just all about the other person? Because I remember that day, I hardly spoke any word. That evening was just all about how this world would be left so incomplete without him and how the human species would be so deprived if, if that person in front of me would not have existed. I was left completely baffled that day. I fervently went, took out my laptop, and I searched on a personality like him who was very self-obsessed with himself. I figured out that they're called narcissists. I thought what better way than, since my pathway demanded a research, I thought I think this is the thing where I could probably go and delve into deeper into this subject. According to dictionary, narcissist is a person who is overly self-involved, they're often vain and selfish. Such people, they have a lot of tendency for self-importance and they want people to admire them for whatever they have achieved. So today I'm going to share with you the psychology of a narcissist and few signs that will help you detect if you are in between a narcissist, maybe in your family or maybe in your professional life, that will maybe help you to better deal with such people. Number one, narcissists, they completely hog the conversation. They would go on and on and on and talking about themselves on how great they are. According to a psychotherapist, narcissists, they love to drag and brag about themselves, about their accomplishments. Such people, they care less about what the other person in front of them, they are saying. Number two, narcissists, they like to control people. They like to change last minute plans so that it goes according to their ways. They like to control people on their own perceptions rather than the other people's perception. Which is why exactly that is how they gain a full autonomy and power to themselves only. Then, narcissists, they think that the people around them are stupid. Uh, I mean, this stems from the idea that narcissists, they think that they know it all. They have an attitude of know it all, which is why they can't really learn more than what they have learned along their life. And narcissists, they lack empathy. They can't really digest or maybe see on how other people they are feeling. These were the five signs of a narcissist on how to detect them. However, if I am st standing right before you guys, 
if I'm giving a speech, after the speech there's going to be an evaluation and feedback. For a narcissist, if I had been a narcissist, then I would rather not value that feedback and I would rather say that, no, that feedback is wrong and I am right. So, it leads me to a, another point where I would say that in a rare population, there are, there are like 1 to 2 percent of people where we could say that they are narcissist. And this leads me to a personality which is called a narcissist personality. All right, it's okay. It's a, it's a research. And uh, it usually affects men. However, we could see certain traits in children where we see them as very self-centered, but that's okay. That's a part of their own self-development. There's nothing to probably lay eyes on them. However, if you find a narcissist, now how to deal with them? The most important thing over here is that you need to keep in mind that you need to have certain boundaries created between you and them so that they don't tend to harm you in some way. They don't tend to eat you up because they do, right? And another very important thing before I, I would want to conclude this would be that it's not just about others that I want to talk about today. It's also about us. I think we need to self-reflect and we need to see if we have a little bit of tiny bit of narcissism in us that we could probably change within us. If we are too selfish, if we don't care for other people, if we are not more empathetic to other people, then it's about time that we self-reflect and we change certain things within us. So that evening just ended when, when my father, he was, uh, he was, of course, it did not work out. But uh, my father was seeing him off and, and he was like, okay, I had a really nice conversation, I will miss this. And I was like, yeah, right, this is completely a case gone wrong. Thank you, guys.